What's up, Andy with Wild Water River Guides, and this is Educated Guess. Welcome to Educated Guess. Thanks for tuning in again. I'm gonna give you my best guess as to what the flows are gonna look like this weekend on a few rivers across the state. We had high water last weekend, and now we're coming back down on a cold streak and looking at more moderate flows that are gonna be pretty consistent this weekend. So getting right into it, I just checked out the Cooper and it's looking like I would call it the good side of low. It's by all means still worth it to get in there. If you're online, you're gonna be pretty much rock free. If you're offline, you're gonna be finding all those rocks. But totally worth getting out there on that one and it should stay pretty consistent through the weekend. We got good average temperatures and if you look at all the gauges across the state, everything's kind of hovering. So we got Coopers still hanging in there. I'm here at China Gorge. Um, looking at the Davis Peak Trail Bridge, and this is where I check out my flows. If you're curious about how I check flows on this section, then check out this other video that I'm making about my visual gauge for the Cleelum China Gorge section. But today, it's looking like it's a little bit too low for China Gorge, uh, at least for my preference. The stretch here below me, the lower China Gorge, I call it, from Davis Peak all the way to Sam Lasac, it's looking like it's totally worth it. I haven't seen this section be too low yet, nor have I seen it too high. So if you come up here and you kind of strike out on Cooper or Upper China Gorge, bring a boat anyways, set your shuttle at the bottom, come do this run. It's a great class three plus section, totally beautiful gorge, still worth it. So let's take a look at rivers around the states. On the east side, we got the Wenatchee River is probably gonna sit right there at 6,000 CFS. Icicle is probably gonna be hovering right at 1,200 CFS, which is pretty great especially for the lower, get on the upper, and if you're looking for extra juice in the middle, that's totally an option. Ingles and Bishasin are for sure out, and they might be out for the season. Unless we get some crazy hot streak that melts all the snow that's still up high, then you can bet that Ingles and Bishasin are pretty much done for the season. Cooper and Cleelum, just talked about that. We got some options up here. Over on the west side, the Skycoma is just sitting around 5,000 CFS. The middle middle is sitting around 1,200. It's probably gonna hover there through the weekend. Hanapakot sitting right around 2,000 if you're interested in that one. And a couple others, the Cascade River sitting right about 1,300 CFS. The Sauk River up north is also probably gonna be sitting around the 5,600 range. So we got a lot of options, pretty consistent throughout the state. Again, the flows are probably gonna be consistent through the weekend, but of course, this is just my best guess. So if you got other information, please drop down below. I would especially love a cup date if you're heading over the pass on Snoqualmie, stop by throw up a cup date for everybody so that way we can see how that's doing. I would guess that's probably on the lower end, but I don't know. You can give me your guess. So until next time, take it easy.